<laughs> and then we had our children, and that's when I realized that I love gin. Full disclosure, I shot till about 3.30 this morning, slept for an hour and a half until two of my kids punched me in the face, says Ryan Reynolds. So, finding my words may take a second. Good thing, there will be less for you to bleep out. Apart from being an accomplished actor and a doting husband and dad, Reynolds is also an entrepreneur. I wouldn't characterize myself as an entrepreneur. I'm, I would characterize myself as someone who um, has found a couple of different things in life that I believed in with every cell in my body. Today, we're looking into the actor's inspiring business ventures, including what, how, and more importantly, why. When Reynolds launched his production company, Maximum Effort, in 2018, he took the unusual step of hiring a marketing exec to run it, George Dewey, with whom he collaborated on the Deadpool campaign. It soon expanded into marketing after Ryan became an owner of Aviation Gin and Mint Mobile. The only qualification you need to own a liquor brand is to be on TV. What a country! <laughs> TV or movies, Yakov. If Ryan had a master plan all along, he did a great job of hiding it, Dewey says. All he's trying to do is to make things that bring a little joy, fun, or unexpectedness into people's lives. While many turn their nose up at it, he sees art in commerce. It's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing, Reynolds says. We love storytelling. Marketing, to a certain extent, is diet storytelling. As opposed to pitching ideas to a client, Reynolds has maximum effort, whose marketing side later merged with the advertising software company MNTN, coming up with an idea it loves and then looking for an ideal client for it, much as a production company does. For example, he wrote a spot where Satan falls in love with 2020, which he brought to Match.com. Hi. Two zero. Two zero. Please. Call me 2020. It's a model that prioritizes creativity over profit. Everything we do is scrappy, Reynolds says. It's fast, it's inexpensive, character over spectacle. I think that you're capable of much greater things when you're using fewer resources. You just are. Speed and cultural savvy outweigh production value and maximum effort. Where the idea is, as Reynolds says, move at the speed of what people are talking about. Remember a Peloton's 2019 holiday commercial in which a woman unexpectedly receives an exercise bike from her husband blew up on Twitter? It was early December, and an ad for Peloton, in which a husband buys one of the company's $2,000 stationary bikes for his beautiful wife, had just gone viral. Though not in the way Peloton might have hoped. This morning, there were 700,000 views of this 30-second commercial. If I'm Peloton, I'm thinking, bring on the haters, bring on the critics, bring on the comics, bring on all the parodies that have sprouted from this commercial. People immediately started talking about her pained facial expression, alleging that Peloton Girl, as she was nicknamed, was being forced to exercise by her sadistic, thinness-obsessed partner. The ad was mocked for being sexist, out of touch, and even a full-on dystopian nightmare. As the Ferrari peaked, the company's valuation dropped by a billion dollars, literally overnight. The ad's lead actor, Monica Ruiz, was at the center of all this, quietly freaking out. She declined several interview requests, but then she received a call from one of the people on the planet best suited to help her navigate the situation. Reynolds had gotten her number from her agent. He asked if she'd reprise the role in an ad for a spirits company he owns, called Aviation Gym. I just felt strongly that it would be a bit of digital judo, that she'd be taking this power back and repurposing it in a different way," said Ryan. A few days after Reynolds and Ruiz's conversation, Peloton Girl was all over Twitter again, only this time in a spot for Aviation Gin. Ruiz is seen drinking martinis with two friends who toast to new beginnings. One solemnly promises, you're safe here. Reynolds posted the spot, which he and Dewey wrote, to his social accounts just as he took off for Brazil Comic Con. I hit send, went up in the air, and fell asleep. By the time he landed, it had caught fire. The commercial soon racked up 10 million views on Twitter alone and was further amplified by Reynolds' appearance on The Tonight Show a few days later. In addition, the where to buy searches on Aviation's website spiked so dramatically that the website hosting company thought something had gone wrong. Digital Judo appears to be one of Reynolds' superpowers. The 45-year-old is also the co-writer and producer of many of his own films, and, more notably, he is an idea machine with a mischievous sensibility and a knack for timing. 
Reynolds ads capture the same sardonic humor of Deadpool, of course. It's Father's Day, but if you don't mind, we're gonna celebrate with the mother of all cocktails, the vasectomy. Take a surreal ad for 2018's Deadpool 2, in which the character, dressed as PBS icon Bob Ross, struggles to paint a bucolic scene using colors such as Betty White, or his years-long feud with Buddy Hugh Jackman, which they harnessed for a joint spot for aviation in Jackman's Laughing Man Coffee Company. Their attempt at reconciling racked up 8 million views. He made fun of every cliché in the luxury booze brand playbook as he tells of the detailed, holistic process through which the gin is made. From workers misting oranges on the tree, with the tears of aviation's owner Reynolds, and corporate promises of humanely caught plants. At the start of the You Know What, Reynolds put together an ad to remind people what life used to be like and some fun things like aviation are still around. He donated 30% of the proceeds to unemployed bartenders. But Reynolds does more than write witty copy. He believes in having skin in the game. Not only does Ryan create the advertising, but he also has a financial stake in many of the companies he's advertising, which incidentally can pay off handsomely. Aviation American Gin was sold for 610 million within two years of Reynolds' involvement. We believe aviation success is a validation of our company's 3D strategy. As a reminder, these are those Ds. Distribution, deliciousness, Ryan Reynolds. And yes, the D in my name counts. He also has been pioneering a new style of vertically integrated marketing. His ad agency doesn't just create content, but provides his own channels. Reynolds has 36 million followers on Instagram and more than 16 million on Twitter, and he is using social media to extend the advertising message. When brands are desperate to communicate online that they are just like us, Ryan actually is just like us. And in an era where traditional marketing rules no longer apply, his speed and candidness become a distinct advantage. Last Super Bowl, for example, Reynolds crafted and spent around $100,000 to place a full-page ad in the New York Times for Mint Mobile, a low-cost cell phone provider he bought a stake in last year. It mocked the 30-second spots his competitors had purchased during the game for $5 million apiece. We could literally give away over 300,000 months of free service and still save money. And that's exactly what we're going to do. As he explains it, there's something fascinating to me about creating a piece of content that's shareable and acknowledges quite nakedly that it's an ad. And it's certainly more honest. Maximum Effort now has 10 employees and offices in New York and Los Angeles. It is small and lean with no red tape to cut through and no bureaucracy to get through. As with his movies, Reynolds keeps budgets at modest levels. He chose the name Maximum Effort for his production company and marketing agency because it was Deadpool's catchphrase. It could also be his own. Maximum Effort. The actor's closest collaborators marvel at his willingness to work. Sean Levy, his director on Free Guy and The Atom Project, says Reynolds refuses to rest on his superstar status. His work ethic is so disproportionate to what he could get away with. The guy hustles non-stop. Gal Gadot, his Red Notice co-star, said, He gives 200% to everything in the most nonchalant way. I tend to bite off way more than I could or should chew, Ryan says. I think maybe it's just that Canadian sensibility. Well, I said I was going to, so I have to deliver this. I will do that at the cost of my own well-being sometimes. In late May, near the end of Mental Health Awareness Month, Reynolds took to social media to share with his tens of millions of followers that he suffers from anxiety. His longtime pal, as he called it, has traveled with him since childhood, though pressures of his professional life amplified it. I fixate on things, he says. That's sort of the engine of anxiety. I lay awake at night, wrapping and unwrapping every possible scenario. I slept at a perfect right angle for so many years. However, he's actively trying to manage the issue through meditation and a conscious effort to be mindful. I tend to pave over anxiety with work and, to a lesser extent, achievement, he says. While Ryan says he'd be thrilled to pull a Betty White and tell naughty jokes into his 90s, he's not counting on it. I will not be a movie star at some point, he says. That thinking informs his planning for the Group Effort Initiative, a diversity and inclusion program funded out of his salary that gives BIPOC and other marginalized people, historically underrepresented in the entertainment industry, tangible work experience on his upcoming productions. 
Representation and diversity need to be completely immersive, Reynolds says. It needs to be embedded at the root of storytelling, and that's in both marketing and Hollywood. When you add perspective and insight that isn't your own, you grow, and you grow your company too. Reynolds could easily have followed the well-trodden path of other actors, such as Ashton Kutcher, who've invested in Silicon Valley's hottest young companies. Yeah, but building something is incredibly rewarding, Reynolds notes. Right now, I'm in a position of unspeakable privilege where I can enact something like this. At some point, I will not be, Reynolds says. So, the hope is that you're creating a template so that it becomes sustainable. After he introduced the initiative on the Atom Project, several studios and networks adopted the model. That's all we have for you today, juicers. As always, thanks for choosing us. Spread the word and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. And we'll be right back. Be well and be kind.